Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I use Emacs to update my sites online and how you can use Emacs to blog on a remote server. So let's fire up Emacs here. Now I'm going to use something in Emacs called Tramp. So to do that, I'm going to do Control X, Control F for find file. Now, by default, when you bring up a find file, you see in the lower part of the screen, you have that tilde and a forward slash. That means the home directory. And then we're, we're searching for a file in the home directory. I'm going to actually delete that and just put a forward slash and then the method that I want to connect to online, which is SSH, then a colon. OK, then I'm going to put my username and the IP address of my cPanel online. So I'm going to blur this out, but I'll do that. So let me do that. After that, I'm going to put a colon and then I'm going to put the website that I want to address online or I want to get to online. So that's going to be timunker.com and then a forward slash because I want to go into the root directory. I'm going to hit enter. And it's this is the first time I'm connecting on this particular device, so it's asking me about the RSA key fingerprint. I'm going to say yes. OK, and now I have to enter my password, so I'm going to go and do that. And hit enter. OK, uh, and do I want to save this password so I don't have to enter it in the future? I'm going to say yes. OK. All right. So now this brings me up to my home directory of my site so I can go ahead and begin to edit the site. OK. So uh, now this is my home page. So if I go down and let's let's take a look. This is my home page right now. And so I have uh, my latest sites right down here. And let me uh, get this a little bit larger so you can see it. OK, so we have my latest sites right there. So if I want to do something and put a little paragraph and say Tim was here and then close the paragraph and now save. So now it's saved the file. OK, so now if I refresh, you'll see it appear this Tim was here right here. So I'm actually editing this file online from my local computer uh, via Emacs. Now, obviously, I, I want to get rid of that, but so I'm just going to kill that line and now save. And if I go back, um, I can refresh. OK, so uh, what I want to talk about now is um, I, I'm actually going to break this connection here and I'm going to go to this timunker.net, which is my other 90 style blog that I was going to do. And I'll show you how I would do a blog online. OK, so let's actually Let's actually quit out of Emacs here, we'll break that connection. But now that uh, timunker.com and timunker.net are on the same cPanel. So I won't have to enter the password again. I just have to do control X, control F. I'm going to delete the tilde and the forward slash. And I'm going to have a forward slash SSH. Uh, again, my username at the IP address. Um, and then a colon, then timunker.net and a forward slash to get into that site. OK, uh, so now I'm into that site. I've already entered the password so I can go ahead and I can create folders. I can create files just like I would uh, with um, with uh, a regular um, file that I was working with in my local directory. So let's go to 2022 here and I haven't ap updated this site in a while. Let's create a folder. I'm going to do shift plus. That's how you create a folder or plus in DRED. And I'm going to call this uh, 03. I didn't even blog in 02. But so now we created 03. And now I can create um, a blog with Control X, Control F. I can say my first blog of March.html. OK, so that'll create a file. I can now, it's an HTML file. So I'm going to declare my doc type. Uh, I'm going to create an HTML document. Um, maybe I'll go down a little bit here and close it with Control C forward slash Control. Close that tag. So you're in HTML mode. I have a video on that, so you can quickly create HTML tags, closing tags, and that kind of thing. Um, 
I could do a Medicare set. But what I really want to talk about, um, and I won't bore you with this, but what you can do is online, let's just let's just save this file as is because it's not going anywhere. But let's go back to our dear Ed here. And let's say we went up into our 2022 blogs and we wanted to create a base template. So we could do control X, control F, create a base template for our blog dot HTML. And then you would have your doc type. Uh, you're going to have the HTML tag. You have a head tag. We have a meta character set tag. Um, you're probably going to have your viewport tag here. Uh, let me just do that. And I'm going to show you how we can just leave this base template online in your root directory. Let's say we have a title. We probably want to have, we just have a blank title tag. So I'm just going to close that, uh, close the head tag, maybe open the body tag, and then close the body tag here and close the HTML tag. And say this was our base template. Now we probably have a few more things like the uh, meta tag for the description that we'd have to fill in. In fact, let's, let's do that. So if we go here and we have meta name equals description. Okay. And then maybe we even link in a style sheet. Uh, and we give the address based on where the blogs are going to go. If I'm where I'm depending where I'm keeping this template, it might not be in the same level folder. So I want to have the template be based off of the folder that I'm going to uh, use this in. So let's say I was down two folders, I'd have dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash, and then we're accessing CSS, a CSS folder, and a file called style CSS, for instance. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I could save all this, right? Then every time I went into my server, what I would do is I would just do control X H to copy this. And then um, I would do alt W. Uh, Control X H to highlight all that. I would do Alt W to copy it. And then I'd go back to Control X D here, and let's say I wanted to use this in um, the folder called Three. I'd create a file. Let's call this file uh, Blog Two .html, and I could paste in my template, and then from there I could fill in various things like my description. Um, I go back here uh, and just say something like my second blog of March. I'd obviously want to be a little bit better with my descriptions. Um, and you could have this, and, you know, fill in your title, so on and so forth, and then start writing your blog within the body, the opening body and the closing body. And you could have the style and the CSS look as good as you want it to. Um, and quickly update your blog online and then link it. You know, you can use Dear Ed to go back to your index.html, link the file, and you're not having to go to your cPanel, create files locally, then upload them, then make sure you're linked correctly. You just do it all on the fly right from Emacs. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I also want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.